Let's look at how to make a realistic 3D effect. First, I'm going to draw a shape. Let's do a circle. And we're going to create a gradient. So I'm going to select a color bar, holding down Option, select another color. Now I'm going to select this other gradient slider and choose another gray. I'm going to rotate it 90. Now go to your direct selection tool V and holding down option click shift drag to create a straight line. Now go into the blend tool W for your blend tool here. Click on both objects. Now double click on the blend tool we're going to do specified steps until these look completely blended. Or you can do a distance. Okay. Now we can look at what the fur effect will do to this by going to distort and transform under effects, roughen. Turn on your preview and increase the size and the detail until you get the desired effect. Now let's say you have a custom shape. Let's do another circle. I'm going to create the circle with the ellipse tool and by selecting both the blended object and the new object you can go to Object, Blend, Replace Spine, and it's not complete, so what we need to do is get our Scissors tool, or C, and I'm just going to click right on one of the anchors to get that to complete. And you can play around with this by using your Direct Selection tool and grabbing this endpoint and you can move it around. You can also resize by double clicking into this circle. I'm holding down Option Shift and dragging inward. So we've got a tail. If you want to edit the effect later you can go to your appearance and blend now click on Roughen and Preview to continue adjusting.